In today's video, we are focusing on question two of the Northwest uh, NSC grade 12 paper that was written in March 2023. So it's your statement of financial position, which is the balance sheet for 30 marks in 35 minutes. Without further ado, let's just get into the question and see what it has in store for us. Uh, so the information relates to Leisano LTD for the financial year and it on 28 February 2022, we are required to prepare the following notes of financial statement, retain income note. In 2.2, we are required to complete the following for the year and 28 February 2022, equities and liabilities section of the statement of financial position. Now we give an information A, which is an extract of balances between 28 February 2022 and 28 February 2021. Okay, given in for additional information B, Roman figure 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is populate our retained income note. Here we have a net profit after after tax and then we have our repurchased shares here repurchased shares this is just to save you time as soon as you get your your retained income notes this is how it's going to be structured each and every time you you are required to do it or complete it because it's kind of different from the other financial statements uh notes to financial statements okay so ordinary share dividends you have your interim and have you have your final this one doesn't change it's always like this okay so going back to information a we're not given a balance at start we're not given a balance at the end so this just alarms you to really take care of your information it really um shines a light bulb on you into into your your eyes that you need to make sure that you pay attention on your information that you're given all right so now information b ad additional information b says a tenant has been leasing office space so that is irrelevant to what we are currently doing which are which is our retained income note this talks about your rent income and then Roman figure two, which is where we're moving on to, income tax for the year is calculated at 30% of the net profit. The net profit after tax, okay, that is what we're looking for, is 356, 300, okay. So net profit after tax, it's 356, 300, okay. And then repurchased shares. We're going straight into our shares and dividends. On twenty on, on February twenty twenty two, the company bought back forty thousand shares at fifty cents above the average issue price. So it's forty thousand shares at fifty cents above the average issue price. So when they say above the average issue price, they're actually talking about what we paid extra or what we can call the premium. So that is the exact amount that goes on to your retained income note. So that's the half of 40,000, which is supposed to be 20,000. Okay. Now your ordinary share dividend to interim and final. We're going to quickly uh, check our information. So information A right here, it shows dividends on ordinary shares. Very important to note, interim. So interim is two hundred and seven thousand. Okay. So two oh seven. And then let's check for more information about shares. So a uh, a final dividend was declared, okay, at the end of the year. And then total dividends for the year amounted to three forty five thousand. So the total was three forty five thousand. Okay, that's a minus also there. Now we need to know how much we our final dividend. So we're just gonna simply take three forty five thousand minus two hundred and seven thousand. 
and get 138,000. Okay, now we need to get our balance at the end and balance at the start. But with the information that we've given, I don't know if my eyes are, my eyes are lying to me, but this, uh, this seems to be no information that talks about the balance at the start and the balance at the end. So this means we are definitely moving on to our balance sheet to see if there is going to be any type of information that we can utilize to complete our retained income note. So at the moment, we just leave it like this and we will come back to complete it. All right. So now we are moving on to our uh, liabilities section and uh, liabilities and, and shareholders equity section. Okay. So retained income, we don't have anything yet. So our shoulders equity, let us look at our information and all of what we can use. Okay, so we have ordinary share capital of 6,670,000. We have retained income that we're not given. We have loan, SARS income tax. Okay, uh, we have creditors control. We have sales. Rent income, interest on loan, and dividends on ordinary shares. Okay. Now, since we don't have any information here on the shareholders equity section, I think we can simply move to your non-current liabilities, which is your loan. Okay. So with the loan, here it says all transactions. Okay. So we're looking at Roman figure three. Don't get lost. So loan certain bank, all transactions with respect to the loan were recorded. Interest of 142 to 50 on the loan is capitalized. A fixed monthly installment, including interest. So the fixed monthly installment includes interest and it was paid in full. Now, the capital portion of the repayments will increase by 10% over the next financial year. Now, increase by 10% over the next financial year. Now, let's go check our loan. It says here, our loan was one, one 1,159,000 at the end of the year. But at the start, we had a balance of one million one uh one million two hundred and eighty thousand seven hundred and fifty. So how do we do this? We are going to say one million two hundred and eighty thousand seven hundred and oh seven hundred and fifty. One million two seven hundred and fifty, and then we are going to say minus one million one hundred and fifty nine thousand okay so let's see what we get there so it's one million two hundred and eighty seven seven fifty minus one million one fifty nine to three to actually see how much was our payment we uh, we paid one twenty one seven fifty okay so that is our payment now including interest of course because it said um including interest okay so if you you are confused this is your balance at start this is your balance at end to see the difference of of payments that you made throughout the year okay so this is uh how much our loan decreased by all right i just hope that makes sense now it says it will increase by 10 percent over the next financial year so this amount is the one that will increase okay my handwriting is pretty bad there please forgive me so it will increase by 10 so if this is a hundred percent now when it increases it just becomes 110 percent okay so we can just say 121 750 times 110 percent 
see so let's check what that will give us it's 121 750 times 110 percent uh, okay so i am getting 133 133 okay all right so that will give our loan now is at one let's see what that amount is one 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 five nine one five nine minus one three three nine two five okay now let's see what that will give us one five nine minus one three three nine two five so that's one zero two five zero seven five okay right. i think i think that makes sense okay so now your current liabilities what you will have on your current liabilities the first thing you can do, just because we've completed our loan, you can have your current current portion of loan. At the very same time, you can just fill it in here so that you do not forget later on. Okay, so we have trade and other payables. Now let's read our information on text so that we can see if whether we, we all source or not okay so income tax for the year is calculated at 30 percent of the net profit the net profit after tax is 356 300 so we know that it is 30 percent but uh, okay so this is your income tax but what we are given is 70 percent which is your net profit after tax how did i get 70 remember that your net profit before tax minus your tax will give you net profit after tax this is always 100 this is 30 you were, you were told then 100 minus 30 will give you 70 now you are definitely correct if you said what you want over what you know okay we want 30 we know that our net profit after tax is 70 and we also given an amount okay okay let's just fix that so it's it's 30 over 70 times 356 300 what you want over what you know multiplied by the given amount okay 30 over 70 times three five six three hundred and i am getting one five two seven hundred okay now how much did we pay to source we paid only 130 bucks but now a hundred and thirty thousand okay but now what we are supposed to pay is one fifty two seven hundred so the difference is what we owe the difference is what we owe. Let's see how much we owe sauce. It's 152,700 minus 130,000. We owe sauce 22,700. Okay. So here we're just going to say sauce income tax of 22,000. 700 okay now remember that you also had your final dividends that you haven't paid you only declared now you have your shareholders shareholders for dividends so it's very important to take care of your shareholders and and giving them dividends and remembering that they are now a liability okay so that is 138 
thousand. Okay, now we are just gonna check the other adjustments and focus on our trade and other payables. Okay, so the first one is a tenant that has been leasing office space on the premises since March twenty twenty. She has paid the rent until April twenty twenty two. Note that the monthly uh, amount was reduced by 1350 from with effect from 1 Jan 2022. So let's just use this one. Uh, let's just use this space to, to work this one out. Okay. Just trying to make up some space there. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's just create a timeline. That's the first thing you need to do. So if you have watched my previous videos, you definitely know how to work this one out by now. Okay. So at uh, the start of the year is the 1st of March, 2021. Now we have March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, Jan. Then you have Feb, 2022. All right. So it says she has paid the rent until 20... At 30 April 2022. So here you have March. And then you have. Oh sorry. And then you have April. Okay. So two months here. Right after the year has ended. And then you had. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. That's 12 months. That's our whole year. But the monthly amount was reduced by 1350 with effect from 1 Jan 2022. So I have a, a 1 March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, Jan. So the change actually happened when we got here. In Jan, first of Jan, so here we had minus one thousand three hundred and fifty. It's a decrease, and for how many months? One, two, three, four, for four months. Okay. So what we are going to do is actually check how much was the monthly rent. The normal monthly rent, if there was not, if there wasn't any, any decrease, okay, or any reduction, we are just gonna simply add back one thousand three hundred and fifty for those four months, okay. So we are simply going to say. Let's just clear this first, so we are able to see, what we are working on, okay. We use a different pen. Let's try. Uh, not brown this one okay so it's what we have on our rent income which is one eight okay this is not really clear let's do great what's one eight three okay six hundred multiplied by oh not not multiplied plus it's plus one thousand three hundred and fifty multiplied by four Okay, so it's one eight three six hundred plus one three fifty times four. So we should have received one one hundred and eighty nine thousand if there was no reduction. Reduction. If there was no reduction, we would have received this amount. Okay. Now, we are required to check how much was the normal rent amount. So, we received rent for how many months? 14 months. Okay. So, we're just going to say 189 divided by 14 and see what we get. Okay. So, I'm getting 13,000. Now, 
what is the rent okay so this is the monthly rent monthly rent okay before reduction and then the rent after reduction is simply 13,500 minus 1,350 so it's 13,500 minus 1,350 which is 12,150 now looking at the adjustment uh, going into into the adjustment what colored pen was i using here to answer okay so looking into the adjustment now what we are supposed to do is actually reduce the rent amount because they have paid in advance so now we actually owe them because we haven't rendered the service so we are supposed to say okay so it's 12,000 okay the color is not really the same 12,150 times 2 okay okay that's part of our payables let's see if we have any creditors control none okay so we are done with this one and then now i think we it's it's time that we move on to uh information five and and six okay so information five and six tells us about total current assets amounting to one million seven ninety two six twenty and then also having your current ratio of two comma four is to one okay so remember that your current ratio says your current assets is to current liabilities for every liability there are two comma four assets here yeah. so your current assets what you have is one million seven ninety two 620 and then your current liabilities are x because we don't know now how do you solve for x you simply cross these out you cross multiply so you have one seven nine two six twenty as to two comma four x okay then you divide by two comma four both sides and then let's see what we get so one seven one seven nine two six twenty and uh, divide by two comma four which is seventy four thousand no it's seven forty six nine twenty five okay so that should be your current liabilities so it's seven forty six nine twenty five so now because we're not able to get our um, our creditors control but we have the rest of of these amounts this can actually be our balancing figure so you've we've done all the work only to find out that uh, our trade and other payables will be our balancing figure okay so we can just take our 746 okay seven four six we can just take this one and subtract everything in here to get the the balancing figure so it's seven four six nine two five minus one three three nine two five minus twenty two seven hundred minus one three eight and then our balancing figure becomes four fifty two 300 right and then we given our total shareholders equity and liabilities so we can take this amount subtract that and also subtract that to get this so now you see how we are working backwards okay so let's let's try it 
So it's nine, it's nine, five, three, four, five hundred, minus seven, four, six, nine, two, five, minus one million and twenty five thousand. Oh, and then seventy five. Okay. So here I'm getting, okay, oops, seven. Seven six two five hundred. Okay, see now we have our shareholders' equity. We can easily get our retained income by taking this amount and subtracting our ordinary share capital. All right, so let's see what that will give us six minus six six seventy. That will give us one million. Ninety-two thousand five hundred. Cool. See now we have your balance at the end of your retained income note. So it's you know, five hundred. Then you work your work. You work your way um backwards. So let me quickly do so. You take this. You add this back because it's it's subtraction. You also add this. You add. You add. And then you subtract this one. And then you get your final answer here okay so it's uh that plus 345 plus 20,000 minus 356 300 so i'm getting 1,101,200 uh, okay so i think not that I think, but I know that we have come to the end of our video. Thank you so much once again for watching. I I I, I really hope this has been helpful to you. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, share with anyone who needs help with accounting or anybody who you think this might be useful or useful to. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment once again um it really helps with the creation of more content i will definitely see you in the next video cheers